Hi guys, this is Sylvie and I've got Lizzie with me and today we're going to tell this story. It's really interesting. It's about the widow's oil. Now this happened... What, you can smell those roses? You want to smell them? smell lovely don't they yeah <laughs> they do yeah you want to smell them again hmm yeah I like those now this is yeah this is a story about the widow's oil and it happened 895 years before Jesus came on the scene and these miracles were happening and it was God that was doing them and there was this um, have you heard of what a slave is that's right, it's someone that hasn't got their own rights. Um, they have to work hard. Um, sometimes they're whipped, which isn't very nice. Um, they don't they have to get up when they're supposed to, very early in the morning, may, maybe go to bed really late at night, have just basic food that's not terribly nice, just enough to keep them ticking over so that they can do the work um, it's horrible you can't watch TV um, yeah you can't do the things that kids like to do yeah now this was a story about um, Elijah and um, he was a prophet <clears throat> and there was this widow what is a widow um, now a widow is someone that's lost their husband not lost them lost them lost them their husbands died and a widower is a gentleman that's lost his wife now this um, lady we don't know her name but she her husband had died and he he belonged to um, Elijah's group of friends and they were all prophets which means they listened to God and um, yeah, they, that's, that was what they did and they loved God and uh, her husband had died and she, her, she, she went to Elijah and she said to him, Elijah, um, my, you know my husband was in your company of people and she said he's died um, and he, you know he revered the Lord, the Lord God almighty um, and um, what's happening is that he owed a lot of money and now the debtors that's the, the people that are coming to her want to take my two sons as slaves because I can't pay the money I can't pay the debt and, it, and, she, and he, she said what can I do was he there to help her? Well, he didn't know what to do, but he said to her, um, he said, how can I help? And then he thought to himself, um, have you got anything in your house? And she said, well, I haven't got anything except a little bit of oil. Now this is olive oil for cooking and it was um, really precious. So she, what he said was, he said to her, look, go and collect all the jars from your neighbors and um, take them into your house. Don't just collect a few jars, collect a lot of jars. So the two sons and her went to the neighbors and collected all these jars. And then he said, go into your house and start pouring the little bit of oil that you have into your jars well she only had a little bit of oil but he said start pouring it into your jars which she did and she kept pouring and pouring and she'd say to her son oh give me another jar and it just kept pouring and pouring and she kept pouring and pouring well yeah it, it didn't stop <clears throat> until the last jar she said right 
to one of the boys, any more jars? And they said, no, that's the lot. And do you know what? The oil stopped flowing. Isn't that just amazing? It stopped flowing. And uh, she went to Elijah and she said to him, she told him what had happened. So he said, what you can do now is you can sell the jars of oil that you have to pay off the debts and she can she said you can live you and your sons he said you and your sons can live off the rest isn't that such a beautiful story does that sort of thing happen today well I was thinking I thought you know it does really because um, I had a story and um, I was uh, I was doing some sewing and I was sewing some little covers to put on the chairs at home um, because we had pussy cats and these I wanted to make these furry covers so that the cats could get onto the settee and the chairs and have this nice furry bed to sit on and I wanted to trim it round just to trim off the edges and make it nice and I went to this shop quite a long way away and got the the trimming to go around the edge and when I measured it when I got home I thought uh, the my maths I thought I haven't got enough I know I haven't got enough and uh, thought right I'm not going to measure what I've got because I saw the lady in the shop measure it up and she measured it to what I asked for and I just kept sewing and sewing and do you know I had enough I just asked God to multiply it and I had enough isn't that just amazing and uh, I just thank God for that that was just awesome for me so God still works all these lovely miracles if we ask him and trust him I will say a prayer Heavenly Father we just thank you Lord that you are the controller of the universe and yet you are just so interested in all the little bits and pieces in our life. And we just thank you for that story about the widow's oil. And we just ask you to help us to trust you in our lives with the little things that we need. Amen. That was a really good story. Yeah, really good. <laughs>template you can access on the website <clears throat> so I've got that one there to show you um, now I've just finished cutting this out because I've done it I've cut it out inside the black line so you don't don't want the black line really and then yeah fold it over in the center on the dotted line fold it over again to make it flexible there and then I cut the triangle part just on the solid line <clears throat> and then on the dotted line I folded it fold it this way and that way and then oopsie daisy <clears throat> and then Fold it over just to make sure that it's um, going to behave. Oh, let's finish cutting this one out. I've done this one, cut this one out just inside <coughs> the black line. So I've put some, how do I do this one? I'll just turn it around my way because I'm a bit lost doing it upside down. Right, so that will go there. Should we pour in the oil? Oh, that's it. I've got that in the right place. 
Hmm. Got the double sided sticky tape. A bit low. So I suggest to you to put it just a bit higher. And then stick that down there. So I'm matching up the hand. Oops. Matching up the hand uh, with this line, the fold line. <coughs> and it seems to work. And there it is. Da da! She's pouring the olive oil. I'm sure you've had fun um, as much as I've had making this. Enjoy yourself. God bless, and see you next time.